notifications provide a way for your application to get the user's attention even when the application is not running. In order to add notifications to your application, you need to include a T Notification Center component in your application. Let's take a look at some sample code here to schedule and cancel notifications. So in here, we're looking at how to schedule notifications. First, all we do is go to the Notification Center component and we check to see if notifications are supported. If they are, then we create a new notification and we give it a friendly name. This is a name that we'll refer to it as later in order to cancel it. In the alert body, this is what's displayed to the user. The fire date is when we want the notification to occur. So here we see we're going to take now plus 10 seconds to schedule it 10 seconds into the future. So you can schedule for a specific date and time, like birth dates, anniversaries, etc., or in a certain amount of time. Once you've done all that, then you go to the notification center and you schedule the notification and you pass the notification object that you've created and dispose of the notification object. The code to schedule it immediately is the same, except now we just set the schedule date, or the fire date for now. To cancel a specific notification, we just say cancel notification, and this is where we use that friendly name. To cancel all notifications created by this application, we use cancel all. A couple things about notifications is once the notification is scheduled, you've passed it off to the OS. So even if your application is no longer in memory, if it's been terminated, even if the device has been rebooted, that notification will still fire. The operating system's responsibility to fire that notification. If your application does get uninstalled though, then the notification will never get fired. Also, if the user is using a wearable device like a Pebble, Android Wear, or even the Apple Watch, that notification should appear on their de wearable device as well. Let's take a look at notifications in action. Here it is running on the iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and hit send scheduled notification. This will send the notification to the OS so it can fire later and we'll exit the application. And now even if the application had been removed from memory or if the device had rebooted, notification would still appear. So we see it pop down here from the top. At this point I can tap it here or I can swipe from the top to bring up the notification center and tap on it here, which then brings you back into the application again. So this is a great way to maintain the user's involvement in your application. So here we see it running on the Android device. And again, I'm gonna say send scheduled notification and we'll go ahead and go out of it. And we'll see in just a couple seconds. The notification appears. You see there it is up at the top can swipe down and see it, and I can tap on it to go back into the application again. Now if I say send scheduled notification, and we'll do a notification immediately, and then we'll cancel all notifications, we see that it disappeared. So notification immediately, there it is up at the top, cancel notifications, and it's gone. And that behavior is the same on both iOS and Android. So this has been a brief overview of using notifications in your application.